Hi guys! So I've just come up to my London rooftop gym. This is my space, my studio, and I've got an outdoor rooftop. I'll show you around. So this is the indoor space. We've got a squat rack, we've got some dumbbells, we've got a dual cable pulley, some plyo boxes, good old reflex there. <laughs> and this is my outdoor space. The best and my favourite part of this whole place is the amazing view that I get from here. It never gets old. Also, the amazing views over there. Um, oh yeah, and welcome back because it's been a while since I posted on here. Let's just say technology is not the bestest of my friends. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed I don't have any problems this time and we can keep some videos coming out for you. I'm just about to hold a boot camp. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, gchopra underscore the fit life. And my rooftop page is London Rooftop Gym. It is the perfect day to be working out out here. I'm gonna finish off getting set up and wait for the guys from Emily Crisps to come because this is their event um, which I am running the boot camp for so it's gonna be fun. <laughs> So I'm just about to head to the gym with my sister. Apparently it's bring a friend weekend, so I'm gonna be a friend for the day. <laughs> right now I'm gonna show you some footage of my first session of the week, which was me training leg and in the way that I like to structure my sessions at the moment. So I'm gonna do a voiceover, talk you through that, as well as how I like to structure my diet at the moment, and hopefully you can get some value from it. Just something to bear in mind when you're looking at someone else's diet and training and trying to implement their ways of doing things into yours, don't expect the same results because one, your body type might be different, two, your lifestyle might be completely different, and three, you just might not feel good in it. So that's just something to bear in mind whenever you are trying to implement someone else's um, ways of doing things into your own lifestyle. So back to this workout, I always start my lifting sessions with some warm-up stretches and mobility exercises. If you want me to do another video on that, then just comment below. For this particular leg session, I started off by doing two warm-up sets just to get the blood flowing and then went on to my working sets. Right now, I'm really enjoying pyramiding my first heavy lift of each session. And by that, I mean working from a slightly lighter load to a heavier load and then doing the same back down again with a higher to lower amount of reps and lower to higher amount of reps. So with these box squats, I did a total of eight working sets. My first set for at 60 kilograms for 10 reps, then I went to 80 for eight reps, 90 for six, then I did two sets at 100 for four reps each. Then I went back down to 90 kilograms for six reps, 80 kilograms for 8 reps and then finally finished off with 60 for 12 reps. Now for me, I feel like structuring my sessions this way with one, focusing on one heavy lift to start off with and then structuring my sets this way just helps me pack in the most amount of volume and just stops me from feeling taxed out for the rest of my session. One other thing I like to do in between some of my lifts is incorporate some banded work and I find this just really helps switch on the muscles, um, in particular in my lower body session. 
I have what you call lazy glutes so I just find doing banded work in between some of my exercises just helps switch them on and helps me activate them better during my main lifts. My second exercise of this session were Bulgarian split squats. I always like to make sure I incorporate some sort of single limb exercise into my sessions because any muscle imbalances or strength imbalances, postural imbalances, doing single limb exercises just helps to balance those out. It is important though when you are doing single limb exercises not to do different loads on different limbs. So say if you are strong on one leg than the other leg, make sure you lift the same load on each leg because if you lift different loads on different limbs, you will just create more imbalances. So here I decided to superset my Bulgarian split squats with single leg glute bridges, which is another glute activating exercise. It's like the banded work, it's just a good way of getting the glutes activated, but it also burns, so it's just a good exercise in general. Especially if you are trying to grow your glutes like me, you can do these anywhere. So I did both three sets of 12 each on Bulgarian split squats and single leg glute bridges on each leg and let's just say if you want to get your bum working hard and burning this is the superset to do. Now I used some dumbbells in my Bulgarian split squats but even if you don't use a load for them you'll still feel it working your muscles really hard so you can quite easily incorporate this superset into a home workout. In terms of my training split at the moment I try and aim for a total of at least four sessions during the week, like four main sort of heavy or intense sessions, two of them being um, lower body sessions and two being upper body sessions. Anything outside of that is just a bonus really, but I do like to stay active in some way every single day because I do find that it really just helps, helps clear the mind and helps just with mental focus. After my split squats and glute bridges, I went on to Pistol squats, now this is a more advanced movement but you can do these on the TRX, so holding the TRX with your hands and just squatting down on one leg. So you might have noticed that this session is a bit more quad focused. Um, I do like to split my sessions, so my two heavier lower body sessions, into one more quad and glute focused session and the other being more hamstring and glute focused. Or sometimes I'll split them into anterior and posterior chain workouts. My posterior chain being my back, glutes and hamstrings and my anterior being quads, chests and shoulders. So I did three sets of 10 on those pistol squats and then I did some leg extension superset with squat jumps till failure to finish off. Just like at the beginning of my sessions, I always finish off with foam rolling and a bit more of a longer, more static style of stretching after my workouts because this just helps promote recovery, keeps them supple and prevents any risk of injury or joint pain. Now, with regards to my diet, I generally like to stick to healthy fats and protein prior to my workouts and I stick to protein and carbs um, after my workout. I just find that this way of eating helps me with my mental focus and stops me from getting those energy crashes throughout my workout or throughout the day even. Also if I've not been that active during the day I don't really find the need for carbs because my um, muscles just won't be using them. So this is another reason why I find having carbs after my workout helps me stay lean from where my muscles are a bit more sensitive to uptaking the carbohydrates as glycogen and storing well and storing the glucose from carbohydrates as glycogen in my muscles as opposed to them being stored as body fat from where my muscle cells are already full of glycogen. Now I tend to work out in the afternoon or evening so this works really well for me because I can have my carbohydrates before bed which helps me sleep better because carbohydrates tend to uh, promote the release of the hormone serotonin and tryptophan which are your feel good kind of sleepy hormones so if you do struggle to sleep at night it may be worth trying to structure the majority of your carbohydrate intake towards the end of the day 
And I know a lot of you will be thinking, oh no, but if I eat carbohydrates before I go to bed, I'll probably get fat. If you are still in a calorie deficit, so eating less than what you burn on a daily basis, on average throughout the week, you will not get fat. Anyway, I really hope you found this video useful and you can take some tips from it and implement them into your lifestyle or training routine. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it. And if there is anything in particular you want me to touch on, then just comment below and I will try my best to incorporate it into a video. I know someone mentioned sleep, so I will try and talk about that in my next video. From now on, it will mostly be things like what I eat in a day, what I do in a day, and just general things um, that I like to do to live a fit and healthy lifestyle. So hopefully you can get some value from it and you enjoy watching me and my channel grow and you can all come and grow along with me. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.